now we're getting into third edition. Now you can ask questions about third edition. Let me show you first what I have here for you, and then we, we can go with the questions, okay? So, ready? Yes. 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 I'm, going, I'm going to talk super fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The actual infinity books, okay? What will happen is that we are replacing the first one, okay? This will be third edition, but will be still compatible with Human Sphere and Campaign Paradise. So I'm remarking this during the whole year. I'm, I, I, I want to be crystal clear about this, okay? <coughs> for distributors, for stores, okay? The one that is losing, you know, value since we announced third edition is, is this one, okay? But this one are still valuable books and, and valid books that will work with third edition, okay? So, you know, so mm, it's important for distributors and stores not to be confused by this information and, and <coughs> sk 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 keep uh, asking for those other books. Okay, at the end of this tale, he, he will have the art book. It's just the art book, it's just for enjoying artwork, okay? But I'm going to replace it just in the image for showing you what's coming, okay? At some point, okay, uh, the fourth infinity rule book will be. You know, Acheron Falls, that is the book that everybody wants, the book that will have your Sariadna, the book what, what, that will expand um, the Infinity Armies, that will happen later in the future, okay? Okay, you may already have seen this in, in Visual World. This is the, the weapon range uh, chart that I made for that Infinity within week, okay? Um, I am going to explain it quickly because maybe some of you are already aware of this information. Now all we weapon ranges are divided in, in segments of uh, 8 inches, okay? So grenades have a plus 3 between 0 and 8 inches. This creates a very, well, for second edition players getting into third edition and experience, you know, 20 centimeters, 8 inches of, of you know, comfort throwing grenades is excellent, especially for small grenades, usually. Um, pistol, plus three on zero to eight inches. So the pistol combined with the HNG, you can see that the many people, many um, soldiers with HNG for close combat, uh, for close range, uh, suddenly get the pistol out of, of the holster, okay? Boarding shotgun, <coughs> plus six in short range. You already know about this. Super popular decision, very, very wise decision, uh, very cool stuff by Carlos Torres that came with the idea and makes <laughs> the behavior of many troops changes because a plus six is something huge in this game. Rifle stays the same, combi rifle stays the same, Spitfire, uh, for, for having Spitfire and inch and and let's not have a weapon that is steps into each other, the lots of decisions have to be made so for making both weapons interesting, okay? And finally, sniper rifle having a huge, huge plus three banner there, a huge plus three advantage of distance there, and even further, even uh, beyond the 48 uh, inches barrier. Okay, but you know what? I have another weapon chart here. So, breaker pistol, uh, same as the pistol, but this will have a damage of 12, versus 2, normal, but it will be viral, okay? That is the breaker pistol that many people is asking about because they see the Operation Ice Storm uh, rulebook. Then, ADHL, the, the adhesive launcher, okay? Uh, zero from zero to eight inches, plus three from eight inches to 16 inches, minus three between 16 inches and 32 inches, minus six, from 32 inches to 48 inches. Birds one, adhesive launcher, okay? Autocannon, okay, this one is the, the one of the cool guy, autocannon. Okay, minus three in short range, okay? Zero in medium range, plus three between 16 inches and 32 inches, minus three between 32 inches and 48 inches. Okay, birds two, damage 15, okay? Multi-rifle. Uh, like the combi rifle, plus 3, minus 3, minus 6, burst 3, damage 13. But multi rifle has different ammunition, okay? We'll have 
different slots uh, in the explanation of how multi ammunition goes. Um, uh, it, it will have different slots in the in the weapon chart, so it will be less confusing. Okay, because um, a huge improvement in Corus Belli Infinity Third Edition is uh, with the way we explain the rules, more solid, not not going have to you know go through the book to this section to this other section and realizing that that rule works like that like that everything will be more understandable more solid more friendly to to read to find and you will have to go less to the book to, to find something you, it will be easier to have rapid references chart with everything. Dexter, what was you going to Are ask? Are holster rifles still going to be overcosted in third? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just saw the profiles, man. <laughs> HMC, you know, the one that the young Huo that I have shown, I have shown you has, and the Dragao, and the Salamander. Okay. Minus three short range, zero medium range, plus three from 16 inches to 32 inches, and zero beyond that, not minus three, just zero, okay? It will be still verse 5, which is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> uh, and <coughs> damage 15 and armor piece in ammunition, okay? The Ajotnik from Ariadna, from the scouts and many other troops. Minus 3 in short lane range, plus 3 between 8 inches and 32 inches, okay? <coughs> uh, 0 between 32 and 40, and minus 6 beyond that. So it becomes something very, very useful. Okay, part two, damage 14. Okay, I think it's uh, still uh, armor piercing ammunition. Okay, missile launcher, huge change here, huge change in cost, in effectiveness, in lots of stuff. Minus three in short range, zero between eight inches and 24 inches, plus three just here, 24 inches and 32 inches, but very, very decisive distance there. Minus three, beyond that, until 96 inches. Okay. Verse one, damage 14. Okay? And finally, forward observer, huge change here. Look at this. Zero from zero inches to 24 inches. Minus three from 24 inches to 48 inches. Minus six until <coughs> 96 inches. Verse two, okay, using oh. willpower. Okay? And if you succeed, the status of the troop will be targeted. Okay? Targeted means that you can shoot uh, guided ammunition <coughs> to that and will be a plus three to every miniature that attacks that unit. Repeat this. Probably, yes. Not sure, but probably, probably it has to be. David. Right now, no, it won't, won't be like that. Okay. It will have a, a slot for discover and will be the usual plus three. It's very close, that kind of stuff. Okay, I, I went directly to the concrete stuff. I have a few things to say about uh, third edition, okay? Um, the basic, or one of the basic ideas, or one of the basic patterns that we decide to, to go respect during all the process of rebooting the rules, you know, was the allowing every player to always have the chance of rolling a dice for defending himself from any kind of attack. You know, no more surprise attack and let's see what happens. No more, I'm doing this technique and you cannot do nothing, okay? Because in the logic of infinity allows the player to, oh, this works, everything, all the orders goes to this, okay? So everyone will also always have the chance at least to dodge any kind of attack, okay? Mm, of course, this will be <laughs> in the book especially explained, okay? Does that include if they're shot in the back? Uh, no, so in the back is uh, something that is still goes, uh, well, that is shooting in the back. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, templates, when a template is, is uh, declared position over a unit that you have, uh, that allows to ARO, okay? So just declaring the template will hit here, 
even if it's from out of Lana's sight, guided missiles, um, grenades, stuff, you can dodge. Okay? That is the logic that we're following. Okay? If you are being hacked, you can always reset. Okay? This goes again with the new version of Camouflage that may some of you have heard about. Uh, yes. How does it affect Berserk? How does? How does it affect Berserk? Berserker. You mean close combat? Yeah. Lucky question because I have the close combat chart here. Okay, so let's talk about close combat. And Berserker is right there. Can you see this? Okay. First of all, before going into rules, best way to explain close combat, okay? And we will use this for more stuff, okay? What is the rule that hasn't created any questions all these years? Is the weapon chart. Everybody understand the weapon chart because it's a chart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go there and the chart tells you everything that you want to know. It's a plus three, it's a minus three, it's a damage 15, everything is in the chart. So many rules can be easily turned into charts and can be easily be quickly answered by the chart. Not going to the book and going to this section and to this other section. No. The chart tells you everything. So it's, it's the same thing here. Let me explain this chart to you, okay? Name of the skill, Master Last level 2, level 1, level 2, level 3. If you have level 4, that means you, that you have the previous levels, as it has been in Infinity. Okay, attack modifier. This is uh, your CC value if, if it has any positive modifier. So, going further with your value. Enemy modifier. Does the enemy suffer any minus 3, minus 6, whatever? Uh, Damage mo modifier, M more damage than the normal damage that your weapon or your f pH uh, value is. Uh, burst modifier, do you have more one than one dice? Okay. Kind of damage, special stuff happens. And finally, a special, if there is a asterisk there, okay, you go to the rule and the rule tells you stuff. So, going further. How is close combat in infinity? If I have a miniature here, and a miniature here and one is able to reach base-to-base -base contact, okay, then you are in close combat, but it's the same logic in second edition, okay? And you will have one dice against one dice, but what will happen is the whole thing of CC specialists, okay, their values will be much higher, okay, they will be recalculated, okay? So, have you seen the true profile of the Father Knight in Operation Iceton? He has a CC value of 23, okay? <laughs> what happens when someone has a value above 20. What happens when the modifiers uh, send you above 20? This is very berserker stuff. Uh, what happens in third edition when you have a 23 uh, as CC value is that you roll the dice and after rolling the dice you add that extra 3 to the dice. Oh. Okay. If you have a 25 you roll the dice and you add 5 to the dice. So if you reach 20 it's critical hit. So that means that a close combat specialist, not everybody else, close combat specialist will have a high probability, a high chance of critical hit. That is the, the same thing. And they will be rolling just one dice. But what happens in third edition? When an, an, an allied troop is also in base contact with the same objective that you are charging into CC, if you have allied troops, that those are extra dice. So if you have three Shaolin monks, and you're just, just activating one, but th the other are in contact with base, with, with the tag, with the enemy, with whoever it is, you will have three dice. So the extra dice <coughs> comes from your friends, okay? Unless, apart from your friends, you have Marcel Azerford that gives you an extra dice, okay? So there is no more the Marcel level 3 or if I hit you first, and if you die, uh, you die, and if you survive, you hit me. That, uh, that is, uh, is no more, okay? You will have now different <laughs> values. Yeah. And what this creates is that, as you see, this chart is uh, easy to understand, easy to, easy to play, but very rich and tactical to play. Because when two martial art artists get together, then it, uh, a lot of tactical decisions are, are, are made there. Because 
if you have a huge uh, possibility of critical hit, maybe I'm interested in, in making your uh, value descend, okay? For, for, for allowing the, the dice maybe to, to fail even the roll, to, to go in, uh, down. So in this chart, if we can uh, put I call, the, the ability I call here, it will be very easy. It will be minus three, minus six, you know, everything can be translated into this chart. So no one has to go to the book to, to read a rule. They have just the chart, like the weapons chart, and it's there. No problem with that. We will use this same system of explaining rules and making everything work in a chart with hacker rules, with many other stuff, okay? So everything becomes much easier to understand, much solid, and less confusing to play, okay? Give me a second. Berserker, you were asking about Berserker. Plus six to your CC value. Oh, sorry. And something special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go to the rule, you read what it is. But it's plus six, and then uh, if the, if the, um, let's imagine that the guy has CC 20, and then suddenly has a plus six. So he will roll the dice, and if he scores a 15, plus six, 21, critical hit. It goes like that. New stuff in third edition. If I make a critical hit with a 21 and my enemy makes a critical hit with a 3, both critical hits nullify. Oh. Nothing happens. If I'm shooting the same thing, if I make a shoot uh, with a 15 and the other guy makes a shoot with a 9, both critical hits nullify. Nothing happens. Okay? So, uh, questions, questions. Uh, the yeah. bottom yeah. Yeah. in Operation Ice Storm in the booklet has a new special rule called Assault. Yes. Is that related to close combat or yes. to something else? Assault is a second slot or berserker in the chart and it has here a minus three and a special. Okay, <laughs> go, go to special and it says if the Father Knight let's say that they lie, or, or the Galwegian, has line of sight at the beginning of the order with the, his enemy, he can make 4-4 four, four and reach close combat. Uh, that is a solve. So he will reach with a minus 3, okay? He will have a, a negative modifier, but he will reach. But has to have line of uh, sight from the beginning of the movement, not turn around, turn around a corner. It's a solve, okay? It's like that. Many stuff like that. Uh, natural World Warrior, zero, 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 special, nullifies all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, more questions? Um, this chart, this chart, these are not cumulative values, so a martial arts level, level uh, five is not sitting on a minus 12 enemy mod. It, 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 no, it, no, no, no. You, you, only just, use one you just you play with this, not, well. not a... Okay, so it's not cumulative, cool, so you're not getting the benefits no, of everything. So no, 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 just, just, well. just this is low. Just this is low. Just this is low. But as I was telling you, suddenly we have a Taturashi against a Makaul. Um, the active player can reach base contact and just say uh, um, attack. But the reactive player has to declare which level of martial arts uses before the active player. So the active player can respond to that, adapting to the situation. So as you can see, is tactically richer. Okay, has a lot of decisions here. Okay, so you have, you, you have to make a choice between making it easier to hit or if you have martial arts, making it easier to hit or the add extra burst. Yes, or so going for more damage right. because you are against something that you will probably win but has a lot of armor, that kind of stuff. Excellent, thank you, that answered my question. Um, this is kind of related, will the uh, over 20 adding to your roll, will that apply to shooting and will come up yes. as often? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, also, in third edition, uh, nothing co can go beyond plus 12 or minus 12. Yeah, well, like four observer plus shotgun and close range plus nine. That's it. So, but uh, remember, everybody will have always the chance to defend himself, rolling a dice, but if a player moves all the rules and all the tactics and all, and all the synergies within his, between his units, can reach having a plus 12 and having a minus 12 to the enemy. Okay, if he finds the perfect situation, okay, with everything, range, uh, cover, all the stuff, that might happen. Um, I was just wondering if you mark some with four observe and then mark them with a different 
No, okay. no, no, because it just generates a state which is targeted. Right. Once you're targeted, that's it. That makes sense. Awesome. Yes. I'm really real scale real quick. Uh, <laughs> normally, like if two models were separate and one charges in the four, he could use his ballistic skill against yes, the person. Yes, yes, the, the same, same, same interrogation. Would yes. This negative modifier apply to that ballistic skill? So, like, he has martial arts level five. Could he give him the negative six to the ballistic? Only skill? he reacts close combat. Yeah. Because oh, this okay. only affects right. close combat. Okay. Okay. Something that I would like to talk about more: hacker rules. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saving that information because they told me for the next Infinity Thing week. Okay. But I can. What I can tell you is that it will be displayed also in a chart. So, the hacker devices will have lots of programs. Okay, and they are all in a chart, and you understand the chart and it makes the whole game much more tactically richer, okay? It's beautiful because suddenly it's like you have a menu, a menu with lots of options for lots of situations. As I was telling you that uh, close combat becomes very rich here, uh, the hacker rules also makes the game much richer. Something that I can tell you is that uh, chip groups that are combat specialists now control more the situation, have more control of the situation when they are in close combat. In Infinity continu continues to be, you know, difficult to reach close combat. But once your CC specialist gets in, in close combat, it will have a lot of chances of critical hit. And it will have a lot of chances of survival, the first roll. Because if he, uh, because there is no surprise attack, you know, maybe he wins, maybe the other guy um, has an armor value that <coughs> saves him, but he will be continuing punishing him and stopping a big unit for advancing because uh, Shaolin Mon is making the day of his life. He can die, Dices can, can uh, kill him, but has more control of the situation. Suddenly it's more dangerous to be in close combat with a Chimera and Popnix, for example. Chimera and Popnix yeah. with these rules are incredible. So suddenly some people you don't want to mess with. Okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> questions? Time? Okay, um, yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>